everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and today we got something absolutely awesome lined up. Just earlier today, Kafir released a tweet saying, suit up, it's going to be cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going to be cool? Well, 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 without further ado, let's go ahead and play exactly what they're talking about. Here you guys are seeing the video that they released on Twitter, and you are seeing a floor floor number four you can see the terminal if you guys look for a second there, i'm gonna have this video on repeat for a little bit you guys can actually see a turret into the window over there on the right as well but floor four is being teased and hopefully this means that it will be coming our way very very soon because i could definitely roll with a little bit of that flow four and in a little bit here we're actually going to go ahead and set out on today's adventures as well which involve we finally got a scuba mask we're going to be doing some base raiding and we're also going to be fixing up our base from the raids that we had with standard but dude this is absolutely epic seeing this video it has been forever since we have gotten another floor in the bunker so this is going to be absolutely huge absolutely marvelous news i can't wait to dive in there i hope that you guys can't either sorry that i gotta keep it down a little bit as well you guys know i've been being a lot quieter in videos lately apparently somehow that is still loud so i just want to rage quit life right now <laughs> but this video i am so freaking excited for that turret honestly on floor four looks to be potentially a little bit different than the turrets that we've actually seen so far and at least by the looks of this video unless they're trying to keep it under wraps maybe this will be coming in update 1.7.9 but they're not really like it it's not as feature complete as for example we saw with the character customization teaser when that thing came out because when that thing came out i mean it was pretty easy to tell that like all right this thing's pretty done it's probably coming next update here we're just seeing a small little part of floor four so maybe they're just trying to keep the rest under wraps maybe we will be seeing this in update 1.7.9 but either way i am so excited because like we found out in the last video apparently 1.7.9 is already confirmed to be getting a new oak log event of some sort which is going to be freaking awesome news regarding that we're going to be getting some sort of temporary event that pops up on the map that everyone will be able to go to not just like the north with its oak groves there's going to be an event oak grove where we can go to and anyone should be able to get oak to build up their wall to level three which makes sense because with 1.7.8 Kafir's actually buffed uh raids a lot it's like you're raiding a lot more stone bases so i think they're trying to really make sure to take raiding to the next level and what better way than make sure that everyone not just people with shoppers have solid access to the oak needed for level three walls but back on topic with this there's not too much to talk about besides the fact that we are seeing a terminal of some sort uh that is one thing we're seeing a couple boxes couple shelves on the other side of the terminal there is a turret and at least from i I think from what Kafir was saying at some point I think the turrets are going to be required for us to build our own turrets so maybe what would make sense is honestly when floor four comes out they might package the ability to build our own turrets with a floor four because I think we have to actually get like the infrared slash thermal slash that kind of sensor that was leaked a while back we're gonna have to get that from the turrets and it makes sense that probably this turret over here which is looking a lot tougher a lot stronger might be able to drop that or maybe it'll have the best chance to drop it or maybe it'll be the only type of turret that can actually drop this thing either way i am freaking stoked and i hope that you guys are as well and i can't wait to your guys's own thoughts your guys's own comments on this and what you expect out of floor four but right now i am just stupidly hyped because this seems so awesome because it's been so long since we've got a new floor in that bunker and ooh it's a great sign it's a great sign because the more floors that come to bunker alpha that means the closer bunker alpha comes to being finished and that means the closer we are to getting bunker bravo and bunker charlie getting started worked on as well but that's gonna go ahead and do it for this little sneak peek can't wait to hear what y'all gotta say regarding it in that comment section down below let me know your own thoughts your own hypotheses and maybe your thoughts on my thoughts as well but reminder that comment down below is gonna put you a third of the way into the week of 25 dollar at soon slash play store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure you hit the like button make sure you're subscribed and that will enter you in on this video all you have to do from there is well you guys can enter on every last day on earth video past future and present what will happen is when uh set, set 
Saturday. <laughs> when Saturday rolls around, we'll actually go ahead and pick a random video from the past week. Pick a random comment from the random video. And that will be the winner for the week. And we will kick off a brand new giveaway to boot. So a little bit of that uh, double whammy right there. And that's why the notification bell is also super handy for you guys as well. To make sure that you never miss a video. And so I can bless your faces with the newest information when these new updates and stuff are coming out. Because I am so, 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 so excited for what is coming. Especially with this newest Floor 4 teaser i have a feeling kafir is ready to ramp things back up and dude out of all the teasers we've been seeing out of like the in-game stuff we've been seeing oh i think they're ramping up for something big and i cannot wait for 1.8 that might still be another month and some change of some weeks but i can't wait for that but without further ado that's enough getting hyped right now let's try and get hyped over the present so here is the situation we got mr raider man we finished a couple of his quests let's just go ahead and fast forward through the rest Ooh, the rhymes i spit are the best Ooh, I, that, that was actually amazing oh my god <laughs> but uh, let's just do that we do have some extra coinage to spare and i do want to bless your guys' faces with a little bit of that marvelous thing known as a raid especially because our raid luck lately has been stupidly good so good you know if you guys haven't watched that in the last video i'm gonna give you guys a second right now if you want go back to that video watch that raid that raid is absolutely epic why all right well if you don't want to go back and watch spoiler alert this is why right here we got the scuba mask from it after trying so hard after trying for so long getting it through legitimate means even getting it through uh whatchamacall even getting it through raids we finally raided a base that contained it along with like five engine parts or something like it was a really good raid in the end but here it is boys and girls the scuba mask i it it, it just feels so good to put it on i never thought i thought it would just forever stay away from me but this is amazing because this is such a rare item that will probably have a very important use in the future and baby we are future proof right now because all is looking well but there it is we got the scuba mask we can run around you guys can see me with my nice little face with my goggles upon my face and with all that type of jazz but ooh, let's let's definitely not let that thing get too battle damage that is like the prized possession of mine right now i mean besides like the huge stockpile of engine parts i kind of really love engine parts too because there's probably gonna be more vehicles coming our way eventually maybe not soon but the atv i think it's gonna require 200 engine parts we're about halfway there so we still got a long long ways to go but that's why we are going to try and make some great progress on exactly that exactly today how 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 you might ask are we going to do that well with a raid and hopefully with some good stuff coming from that raid but first we do need to do some repairs to the base because the raiders they finally broke into some legit rooms two of our rooms got compromised in the last raid thankfully we didn't get raided uh overnight or after last episode which is really good because we didn't have a chance to clean up so really quickly before we do go out and embark on today's adventures and oh boy you know there will be some adventures today i did just want to definitely get some of these repairs going and hopefully make sure that all is well on that front uh make sure that we can repair that all the way and just make sure that we can go back to knowing that our stuff is held within safety we also went ahead saw some copper and here we're smelting up some more of that ore i'm honestly trying to smelt this up so hopefully we instead of putting my copper in here because we actually lost like 20 to 30 copper ore i think instead of putting it into there uh the game plan that i am currently trying to do is just make sure to smelt them because raiders were getting because when you get raided it's always a raid by an ai that's been proven long and long ago all right so they don't actually search inside of like your workbenches inside of your furnaces so i just want to make sure that i always got copper in here that's kind of what i'm working towards with all the charcoal currently being used as the fuel butts with wall number one repaired we got to go ahead and repair ourselves a little bit of a doorway as well it doesn't need to be a doorway doors are a tad bit more expensive but honestly this doorway does kind of connect all of our base and just make it a lot easier to get around otherwise that room over there would be like a dead end and this room would be very very annoying to have as a dead end but okay why don't we go ahead and begin doing the repairs over on these things as well just want to make sure that we got inventory room before we uh do pick up the scraps because i don't want to like you know toss out the scraps especially because oak planks are part of the scraps and 
well oak planks are kind of super freaking dope uh i don't think we had a doorway there we should just be able to make a do by tossing down a couple of walls and then repairing those to the best of our ability and uh any extra wood logs that we have we'll probably just toss into the refining furnace and make sure that that begins having some work done upon it uh, but i think we just have a couple of more walls we might have one more kind of a little bit north of the structure and then we will try and craft up a couple hatchets uh yeah we got this here too i will try and craft up a couple hatchets extra and we will go on that raid that we deserve we deserve a little bit of a break and we are going to bring the candy apples or whatever chinese new year event item actually slows down the big one because oh boy that was a doozy if you guys don't know that's the reason we got the scuba mask because we used that and because we legitimately got to raid like the entire base because the big one was too slow to catch up with us it was amazing a true feat of mankind but let's go ahead and toss the rest of the walls over here on those things and then let's go ahead let's no all right, it looks like we might need to do the final repairs or the final upgrades on that when we get a couple of pine planks going our way because it does appear that we are a couple of pine planks short, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll make a do with what we have. Instead, we'll use these pine planks for crafting up some more hatchets because hatchets are, uh, well, lately, ever since update 1.7.8, I think that's the one we're on, right? Ever since 1.7.8, everything that we've been raiding, all these bases have been good bases like no long we, we haven't raided a wide open base and it's actually amazing because well it's more likely that the bases we raid actually have good stuff and it feels good to like consistently get good raids with high potential so uh, let's just go ahead and toss these things over back to safety whichever chest might have some room for them at least i'm not entirely sure and all right we have gathered the final materials that we are going to be needing to hopefully get this thing wrapped up really quickly let's go ahead and head on over to the crafting menu let's get these iron hatchet buddies going over in our inventory will we need to bring all of them who knows but i'd rather play it safe than sully especially because the last base we had was a totally it was like one of those one by one wall mazes it was like the honeycomb type of strategy which is really hard to raid because it takes a lot of hatchets and usually i try not to bring that many hatchets because i don't like wasting hatchets so we're gonna have to play it by ear see where it takes us uh but we should be able to toss that hatchet well you know what we'll take four hatchets i think that that's a pretty solid amount uh, we can put those away we'll put the nails away in one of these things hopefully and then i think we have two c4 two c4 should be plenty and honestly i think that four hatchets should be more than enough for all intents and purposes that we are going to be doing this with and ooh, before we head out it might be a nice idea to go ahead chow down on a single turkey chow down on a little bit of that marvelous agua and uh ooh, we probably want to go and get a vss as well along with the special items that we have been utilizing lately we want to make it we want to get the most use possible that we can out of them because as of late well not as of late but i'm pretty sure that the next update is going to get rid of the chinese buffs and i do want to stay uh, i do want to stick around with the chinese new year buffs and make as much use of them as possible i think we have one we do have one last Tanghuan soup to use, and I think that we might have one more candy apple or whatever it's technically called somewhere in one of these chests. And hopefully we do, because then we could make use of that. And ooh, that thing, I mean, that's the reason we got the scuba mask, so I'm more than excited, more than exhilarated to hopefully put it to use. And right now, I'm more than, more than excited to hopefully just figure out where the hell this thing is, dude. I, I, I can't find it. It's playing hide and go seek. It doesn't want me to eat it. Oh, I'm going to eat you. I'm going to get you in my tummy. Hopefully, one day, unless I ate both of them already. Ay, ay, ay. Right, I'm, I'm gonna look around a little bit, boys. All right, guys, so either one or two things is going on right now. I'm going completely crazy, or uh, I, I legitimately can't find where I put this stuff because I, 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 where could I have possibly put it? 
I'm checking all the chests that I usually put stuff into, and it's just like, no, no whammy. Ooh, I probably got to repair that wall too. Well, it's okay, we repaired the most important walls. We'll probably do some more wall repairs as well. But uh, there you are, Marvelous. So this is amazing because the Tanghuan usually allows us to have to use only one VSS for the entire raid, which is super handy because that's the only thing that we have to bring. And then when the big one appears, the candied fruits, they are the key to allowing us. I guess, I guess that's what they are. I don't know. They, they look like candy apples or something. But 20 minutes of slowing enemies down, a.k.a. as soon as that big one pops up, business is booming because we can slow him down considerably and a slowed down big one is a very very useless big one which is absolutely awesome news for the raiders who are trying to steal stuff aka us now then here's the thing if we wait we might be able to finesse a second raid today as well depending on how this one goes but we could try and make uh because this does last for 20 minutes so if we use it right before the big one appears we might be able to sneak another raid in and actually get a second raid done while having a second big one slowed down so we could kind of get a two for one but right now let's just focus on a one for one let's focus on what the homie uh uh suka let's focus on what suka has for us because uh well he has a lot of use in his name so hopefully he 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 loves you and hopefully the you is me in this situation because i love you guys so uh, there's plenty of love going on over there already and i really hope you guys are having absolutely a fan for fantastic day the most a fan for fantastic day possible some might even say but uh let's go ahead and Ooh, we got a stone base again, baby. How many stone walls does he have? Hopefully, this is just like a one by one stone wall, you know, like he doesn't have any more, but his entire base is caked in this stuff. Oh my god. Well, I think you guys know what we gotta do. <laughs> Dude, I love it. I think it's confirmed at this point. We have gotten too many raids in a row without having like, I, this has never ever happened before to us. We've never had this amount of stuff going on in terms of stone walls. And ever since last update, boom, three in a row. That is absolutely ridiculous. And whew, I'm excited to do some blowy up here. You guys excited? Uh, we can also use this as a great opportunity to find out how much noise planting the C4 adds. Let's also make sure that we don't accidentally blow ourselves up. Ooh, 16 noise, but ooh, the entire base unlocked and lootable by us. Now the question is, oh, I don't think it's a question anymore. This guy has some big baller chests. You know why I know these are big baller chests? He has more of those chests than I do. Why? Because those chests, they take steel and oak. This man's, I think he might have some steel lying around and if all goes well, we're walking out of here yoked. And worst case scenario, we just use the candied apple and uh, yeah, run with that. I think I'm only gonna use the candied apple. Does he have a chopper? Oh, he doesn't have a chopper yet though. Aw, sucks to be him. I hope he gets a revenge raid. I hope he checks my pickup truck and I hope he gets the chopper from there because while I might be raiding you and taking your stuff, I'm only taking from a copy of your base, my buddy. I would never steal directly from you. You know, mm -mm -mm. that's too mean. That's too mean. I could not do. Uh, but before we do begin looting that, just want to do one last check. Look around the map. Make sure we're not missing nothing. Make sure there's no like secret areas that potentially might be hiding something. And it does appear that everything will be in here on the game made by Kafir. Why did I add that? Because it rhymed. I like things that rhyme, man. Rhyming things are fun. Uh, ooh, he's literally only missing the chopper gas tank, which means if he's invested already 20 engine parts into the chopper, that means that he might have spares lying around. That means it's time for us to get to work. How much noise does looting this really big chest raise? That's actually a question that I would love, love, love to know. It actually, oh, how much white paint was that? Bruh, he's got 20 white paint oh my god oh my god okay first things first let's eat the tang Juan. let's start shooting these guys Ooh, we're getting home runs with their arms i'm sorry my dudes i'm sorry to send your arms into the nasa star snipe provided space program but it must be done oh oh yeah that heads going to the space program too but dude oh these raids i can't you know what this means 20 white paint 
we can skin our chopper with the uh well first thing that means that this band has raided a lot a lot of uh hard bunker mode runs and even like uh infected boxes hold on does he have a finished acid bath anywhere in here because if he does oh like he hasn't invested anything into the gunsmith bench do you have an acid bath lying around my friend he doesn't so if he has 20 white paint there's a chance that he could have a ton of electronic circuits lying around as well bro i can't even right now but uh looting these chests will raise the noise by eight so that is good to know i think the different chests do raise their different mount and okay Ooh, a little bit better than respectable oh you know i just realized this is a raid that the raiders gave to us you know what that means they're gonna want their fair share of this loot oh man are you serious i might just have to give them a ton of gun oil because like <laughs> i think that might be the way to move forward with this raid because this is absolutely crazy this is Ooh, electronic circuit to boots let's go dude this is uh, i love this raid i love this man that we got gun oil too oh my god oh my god that should be enough gun oil to finesse the raiders into just this update has made me the happiest camper i think a camper could ever achieve happiness this is insane oh man but we did loot all of his best chests and we haven't found any engine parts which is a bad sign because he hasn't invested any of the atv and there's no way he's gotten 20 engine parts smack dab on the dot but dude the electronic circuit that is filthy let's go that's absolutely amazing news you know we're tossing that puppy in the chopper for safe keeping along with that 20 white paint that's just like i i can't even do that's ah uh, this raid <laughs> every raid that we've done so far like i don't know if it's better than the last raid because the last raid we didn't get that one thing known as the scuba mask but this is besides the scuba mask this is the greatest raid i think that we have ever witnessed dude this is absolutely crazy uh why don't we put the steel plates away for now that should free up a couple of extra inventory slots for us to go ahead and utilize and oh my god guys this is let me know if your guys' raids have been going filthy good as well, because mine have just... You, I think you guys can see with your own two eyes just how crazy this is. This is unfathomable. And we're going to be able to loot a lot of this guy's chests. So there's still a chance that we luck out. Maybe I'm going to try to go for the trunks. I don't know if I'm going to go for the small chests, but okay. So these guys were raising the noise meter by eight. I forgot what the noise meter is at, so we're going to have to figure that out. But uh, if we open two of the two of these in a row just make a note of what the noise level is at here and oh that's good okay it brings us up to 49 uh we should have some of these guys we gotta deal with let's do that the awesome thing though is that his entire base is windows so it's super easy for us to shoot people before they even get to us and goodbye arms and legs not like you're too needed oh sorry toxic abomination oh sorry floater bloater i had some amazing of that i had some amazing tangwan earlier and uh yeah now i'm invincible i do triple the damage on my snipes and ooh, 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 ooh. he's got some stuff for the bunker hard mode 30 tags i am very very tempted by that oh this is just like all right uh ice uh ooh, i'm not gonna take the two that's definitely not worth it this fully sounds pistol i might try and grab near the end when i'm guessing my bss will totally break because that'll totally be useful Honestly, I'll take the totally modded pistol over the shotgun. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll just toss out one of the iron hatchets. Let's be honest at this point. This stuff is starting to get more valuable than iron hatchets. I'm sorry, iron hatchets. I will craft up more of you. But right now, I am just being spoiled. Oh, I forgot what the freaking noise was at. Uh, we're going to have to try and make a mental note of that. But all right, let's see what we got going over here in this one. Maybe something. Mm, that's definitely good. Definitely good. What's our noise at? 57 okay so we're at 57 let's open up a second one here just to see really quickly how much it takes us the level three chest bring it up eight we're at 57 oh my god we're up to 65 so i think opening any type of level two or above chest raises it by eight maybe the small chest do too but right now i don't know what i'm taking home with me boys i don't all right goodbye weapon parts i don't need you guys as badly as i need this stuff um you you know what i got a lot of car air filters back at home 20 oak logs on the other hand that's a bit crazy 
He's got he's got too much. You know, I got plenty of med kits back at home too. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take your best guns as well, there, buddy. Hope that's cool with you. I already took some I already took some clothes straight off your back. Please, somewhere in here, I'm begging of you, buddy. Have some engine parts. That would be okay. That's a little bit poopy. Very organized base though, but uh, we should have some guys coming our way. Let's try and deal with them before they get too close. Hello, abomination. Can I do a critical on you? Ooh. Nah, but I can send that arm flying, big boy. That I can. Oh, this thing is going to be breaking kind of soon, but that's okay. We should slap a couple of shots. Oh, my God. We're going bowling with these guys' limbs. Uh, but we should have... What should we call? Yeah, this thing's about to break. Ooh, you know what I'm tempted to do? Honestly, what we could do here, let's just equip that. Let's put the VSS away and let's see if maybe there's anything else trying to hop into our inventory. For now, we're gonna grab that and honestly, we'll grab like the incomplete meds there. And all right, not looking too shabby. Let's get this last trunk and then, dude, we slam a guy on those engine parts. I'm still crossing my fingers that uh, they're not in here. We got some wrenches, but at this point, with how many wrenches we got at home and some of the other valuable loot we're carrying, this might be a first. I'm going to leave those wrenches behind. I am so sorry, wrenches, uh, but I think that this is the perfect type of raid for us to try and do that trick I was talking about with the big one. So we'll probably end up eating the candy apples and uh, looting the rest of the space because there have to be engine parts lying around. There's just no way absolutely no way there's not engine parts in one of these chests there's no way he just had 20 engine parts on the dot like oh my god oh my goodness gracious all right goodbye you two i'm grabbing some yellow tickets i've been running low on those uh you know what goodbye to those guys we're gonna be opening up a lot of yellow ticket crates especially with level four of the bunker coming maybe the crates will even and the turret coming too maybe the level two crates and level five well level three crates only has five tickets but still maybe those crates will actually have a chance of dropping some of the turret stuff that we need so 100 percent worth the risk of us leaving behind a couple of guns because a stack of survival coupons will get us more than an M16 when we go to redeem them. Honestly, mm, that's just 25. Not too tempted by that. But the next thing that we open is going to summon the big ones. Without further ado, let's munch on the candied fruits. Let's continue our opening spree. And let's hope that there are engine parts somewhere in our future. Because right now we're going to have to deal with the big one. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we just want to turn and burn on them a little bit. Ah, there you are, big one. Sorry, I got to make this so slow there, buddy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I'm using the silenced gun. Is it because... Oh, no, we got a shotgun on some AKs. Honestly, why don't we go loud? Doesn't matter if we make noise at this point, boys. We already made enough, so uh, cover your ears. We're going loud! Oh, God, that is loud. Oh, God, they become so slow, too. Okay, so... A couple more. Just making sure that the big one's as, uh, as slow as can be so we can do some laps around here. Got some use out of the AK. Uh, and let's try and open up one more chest. The good news is that there's a lot of maneuvering room here. We should be able to open up one of these. Hopefully we can steal some drank at some point. Nothing amazing there. Let's just finesse around the big one. Uh, trying to keep my health as good as can be. Uh, we're going to have to steal some water or something at some point. Because we did not bring any... Uh, any items to actually drink so you know while we're doing this though why don't we loot these things on the outside maybe he currently has stuff being worked on in here uh no but hey it's a good thing while we're doing laps while we're cutting the big one a little bit totally solid plan and should we have used the candied fruits on this raid i don't know but i sincerely do believe that this man has engine parts somewhere and i am not gonna leave those stones unturned unless hopefully i'd die of thirst that'd be very poopy but let's see what you got in here ah it's just one engine part but okay still still one engine part that's worth it let's try and get this open before the big one shows up so we can know if we want to stick around and nope no reason to so we just got enough engine parts to finish his stuff well congrats to you my man i'm glad to hear that your chopper is uh hopefully gonna be in good hands pretty soon let's see if maybe he left something cooking in the refining furnace totally re nope nothing in there all right, and with that, I think that's going to put a cap off to this raid. Let's go ahead. Let's start heading out of here, and let's bask in the fact. Just, oh my god. Guys, I think lately we have been witnessing something unheralded. Something I never, like, 
after our raids before and what our raids have become now this is just it's i i'm in shock i'm in shock because c4 is useful the loot we're getting is insane and oh my god especially because those electronic circuits might be used in the crafting of turrets i don't know but there you have it oh no 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 i just remembered here comes the part before we end off this episode we gotta have a conversation with the raiders we gotta talk to these dudes we gotta be like hey uh, raiding buddies about that about that one little thing known as uh mm. we gotta give them their fair share i don't want to give them their fair share though i'm not i'm not feeling it but if i don't give them their fair share they're gonna come and loot my base and i don't want them to loot my base okay they're kind of savage and they can also steal stuff from the bunker so that's not good so gun oil <gasps> no he's not amused by that still not amused do you like medkits uh not as much tickets uh oh he actually really does like tickets okay um i'm gonna get you some more gun oil there big guy because ooh, i kind of want to oh burp a little bit but i can't apparently <laughs> oh there we go oh apologies there <laughs> but uh, i kind of want to try and actually stockpile the gun oil because maybe i don't know i have a feeling that maybe the turret might need gun oil when it gets added to the game so it might be a solid thing for us to hold on to i wonder if i could give him a broken down vss i feel like uh, vsss are pretty highly valuable maybe he will consider it in a similar light and maybe he'll oh no 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 that's not good okay still not happy oh uh, i need hydration give me the hydration boy where you at where you at there you are marvelous oh no i and i have to urinate uh, excuse me boys and girls while i uh do do my do my squatting type of thing oh just just squat right over where i drink from yep that is uh that is me that is what i do i i yep <laughs> all right let's go ahead and get that second sip up into there i really wish they would change that though i talked about this a little bit in the last episode i really hope that kafir does end up bringing the like if you drink straight from here that the empty bottle goes into there automatically because i don't know kind of makes sense to kind of just like auto refill like that but hey what do i know i'm just a dude who plays the game and talks over it yeah <laughs> i'm a pretty favorite fantastic dude or at least i try to be now then back to the haggling they're not too amused with our current offer you know i got some aluminum to spare not bad that's all you got to say who why is our why is my reputation with them still 95 did it not go up after our last deal what a tarnation, dude. I think that he just doesn't like a city for it. <laughs> How about two oak logs? Nope, not too interested in that. Well, I'm definitely not giving you anything out of here. That is all way too valuable. We gotta try and scrounge something up to finesse these guys with because that's the problem, dude. This isn't a problem we've had to face a lot, but it looks like it's a problem we're gonna have to start facing a lot more often. The problem that, um, well, apparently, Oh boy, uh, if the raids start getting good, that means we have to start giving more away. But it's, it also, we also start getting more, so it's kind of like, it's a trade-off, and it's a trade-off we're gonna have to deal with, and hopefully we can finesse them with some iron and stuff? I don't know, ooh, actually we do have some extra aluminum wire lying around, why don't we try and put that to use? Holy hell game, could you be any more laggy in that little moment? Where are you at, big boy? I got a little something for you, Raider. Uh, 20 more aluminum wire. Marvelous! That is what I like to see, baby. That is amazing news. They should be going away happy. I know I'm going away happy. Just got to take a peek at my inventory. You guys can probably tell why. And let's go. Ooh, let's go and put these things where they belong in safety. I'll put the VSS there for now and actually I'll go ahead and toss the sounds pistol in there as well so hopefully I just remember to use those next time. Uh, we are out of Tang Huan though which totally sucks because mm, and the candied apples man. Uh, talk about a doozy. 13 minutes left for it to last. Unfortunately I cannot knock out another raid because i do need to start heading over to class and i did want to get this video out to you guys a little bit early and because apparently i don't know apparently if i record past like 5 p.m apparently people are quote unquote trying to sleep at 5 p.m and uh you guys remember the old videos from like not even the old videos a couple days ago those videos 
apparently me talking like that is too loud so i'm in a little bit of a pickle don't you think <laughs> it's all right it'll buff out i will ensure that it buffs out so i can keep spreading that fan freaking fantasticness for the homies known as you guys but i want to show you guys my uber valuable stockpile not my uber all right i might be driving an uber one day if these noise complaints keep coming <laughs> but uh check this out we can bring the electronic circuit total up to three which is a huge huge development for us uh but also what else do we have we do have the two those things there we got the grenade launchers we're making sure to keep safe we got this mad stockpile of tickets which is awesome a ton of oak logs or uh, oak planks not even oak logs and we got some dog tags we have to turn in oh today's been a good day and if you guys take a peek over here at the bottom you can see our uh, steel plate inventory is getting bigger and bigger what does that mean that means it might be time for us to expand a little bit with some uh, level four walls. Don't you think? I think so. Where should we expand? I don't know. Feel free to let me know in that comment section down below, though. And let me know which, if any of these, like, rooms you would like to see. Which ones you'd like to see us protect next. Something along those lines. Maybe this room. Maybe the acid bathroom. I don't know. We got options. Let me know. Maybe these rooms up here, since apparently these are the only rooms that ever get raided into. Maybe this room, since this room got broken into last time. Maybe this room, since it's where we refine stuff. We got options that we will hopefully be able to take care of as we move forward. But with that, that is another end to another absolutely epic video. And a hot diggity dog, boys. This has just been a great run, and I cannot wait to go on another raid with you guys tomorrow, because the raids, they've hit a new level of epic. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to the like button, and make sure that you are subscribed. Best of luck entering into that giveaway as well. Hopefully you got that notification bell hit, and what else do I have to add? Best of luck joining the Chopper Squad. I hope you I hope, hope, hope from the bottom of my heart, your raids start going as amazing as mine do. And, uh, what else do I have to say? Oh yeah, I'm wishing y'all a fan fantastic day. But that's gonna wrap it up for me. Thank you guys all done for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.